let's go over some keys for the game here because obviously uh again a little bit time wise here i know you guys had to go and soon yourselves there at that point so let's get into some keys for the game here so we'll do let's do this round robin style so tom we'll go clockwise there let me and i'll, I'll go last here so go for your first key in the game there don't take okay. mine um, <laughs> I, will, <laughs> I will try not to um <laughs> It yeah, so up. my first key to the game, if the Giants want to beat Seattle, they have to find a way to protect Daniel Jones. Um, they've been doing it a lot this season, but last year they did not. Jones was sacked 10 times in that game. He had the pick six, the Devin Witherspoon. The game was lost before there was a chance for it to be won. Uh, and that was a big problem. It was a very, very big problem. Uh that's part of the reason, too, I mentioned this, the Seahawks have won six out of the last seven matchups because they continue to dominate time of possession because they're getting to the quarterbacks, right? Even Eli struggled playing in Seattle uh, towards the back end of his career. So the only time the, to recent date that the Giants won in Seattle was the Colt McCoy game back in 2020 <sighs> when they won 17-12. to 12. Everybody was shocked that they won that game. Uh, that, that game, yeah, that game put them in oh, first place God. for like a week or two. A week yeah, or two. We played, the, yeah. we played the Cardinals the following week and lost really bad. Yeah. Yes. And then that that was everybody's like, remember that? Everybody's like, oh yeah, playoff team after all. And like, yeah. I guess not. we lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I I think too. Look, no one's ever going to agree on everything, right? You want to convince John Mara and the front office that. Again, this is going to sound silly because it's year six, but we're talking in their lens. He has enough time, Daniel Jones does, to make enough plays to determine to them, not to us, not to the people watching, to them, that it is time to move on, go out, and get another quarterback in 2025, uh, You know, whether it be Carson Beck or somebody of that nature. Um, this will determine whether or not Big Blue drafts a quarterback. Because you have, you guys mentioned Derek Hall, Boya Mafe, if he plays. Even Draymond Jones and Jaron Reed have done a good job at getting to the quarterback. Um, and yeah, so I think realistically, you want the line to continue to play well. And you want to protect Jones, especially if he doesn't have Malik Neighbors, because it's going to take receivers more time to get open and get more route separation if Malik is not out there. Yeah. I mean, kind of jumping off of that, talking about the line. And this was kind of my key to the game going into it. And then after Drew just started dishing out all that information on Walker and Sharps, it's like, we got to stop the run. Like, that's kind of the bottom line here. Um, a defensive line I meant earlier. But, uh, but you know, it's kind of like if they're going to be scoring a lot during the run game, like, that's what we need to focus on. Because, yes, of course, I mean, DK, uh, JSN, Lockett, those guys have to be protected, obviously. but you know, their, their strength is especially because Walker's completely healthy now. Um, and like you were saying before, you know, Charbonnet is somebody who was able to step up to the plate and get the job done while Walker was still um, getting back from his injury. But it's it's kind of the bottom line here. It, it's and if we don't, then they're going to start. I mean, I think Kenneth Walker had like 54, 55 fantasy points last week. Like we can't let things like that. I know we can't say fantasy yeah. points as a stat per se, but like. You put 55, up a 50 spot. Really? Just, yeah. That's insane. I was I thought it was a lot when Derrick Henry got me 39 and like that, you know, it's crazy. But um, but yeah, I think that's kind of the bottom line here. Stop these guys, contain them, and you know, Dexter Lawrence, like you guys, like, come on, just just keep on and, and they're doing a great job doing that. Like just really punch it. Yeah. Uh we're gonna flip the line and scrimmage. And talk about our own game because they need to show off. Because if we have an output like we did in Dallas, like this game's over before it even starts. Like they need to start running that ball down deep to give Jones, like what's the old saying, the run sets up the pass. So if we're missing neighbors and Wandell's not playing at 100%, we need to set up this run game. And if Singletary's not there, then it's turbo time. Let's go. Turbo time. Ah. It is not a tumor. <laughs> yeah, I want to have my football. <laughs> uh, you, you know, for me, the, the big thing is here, guys, 
is is the me I, I I kind of alluded to it when we're talking about the defense here for us is we have to be able to stop this trio of receivers. And that is so much easier said than done. Gino has been playing very good and their receivers quite frankly are better than our corners. And we have to figure out a way to stop them whether it's getting help from you know the safeties at that point to help be in the position to help you know, guys like Banks at that point, whether it's getting the pass rush going so that Gino doesn't have as much time to throw the ball, we have to figure out a way to help these corners because they're not good enough to do on their own yet. They're young, they're inexperienced, they're still learning. I still think Banks right now really should be a CB2, and I, I really wish we had gotten an actual CB1 at least for one year. You know, maybe Stefan Gilmore was the right move. I don't know. But, you know, it is what it is. That's, that's revisionist history and going back. We got what we got. They need help. We got to figure out a way to stop the, this trio from doing it because, you know, they're just they're so much hands down better than our secondary, and it's it's a little scary when you got those three that you're facing. It's not you're trying to stop one guy. It's not you're trying to stop two guys. You're trying to stop three guys, and either of those three can take over a game when meet and be. So, you know, we got to figure that part of it out there. So. If you like that clip, then you will love the full episodes, too. Find us on your favorite podcast app and look for us on all your favorite social media platforms. Thanks so much. Please, I'm, I'm begging you. Please, please subscribe. <laughs>